Hello everybody, this is Scott, I'm back with the other review, and this one I'm doing the Komodo Ice Dragon. Komodo Ice Dragon is the, uh, is the Komodo browser that is created for running off the Firefox. Uh, it's using the same thing as Firefox. The uh, Mozilla project, you could call it, and I'm going to see if this is any different, or if it's even more secure, because if we saw in my last video re regarding Komodo Dragon, there was a huge disappointment because I was unable to prove that they're even worth the time of day. Because while trying to argue they're more secure, I haven't seen any truth. Like I haven't seen any facts about it. Uh, what's this? Virtual browsing. Install internet security to enable it. I don't. I don't need it. That's kind of like a plugin for themselves for their own product. In their own product. Okay. Share it to Facebook. Ah, oh, the Komodo Web Inspector. So I'm gonna go to uh, I'll go to my site, and I'm gonna see what it says. Ah, slow. That's what you get when you're using the. Oh, it's not responding. That's not a good sign at all. Okay, so. Let's see what Komodo Web Inspector says about my site. Because apparently, I this is just a click and it scans the site. It's like I can't even prove that it's safe or not, and it's kind of disappointing. Here we go again, trying to. That always use Google. Here it says this says it's a new scan. I've never it's never seen my site before. Ah, this is slow. So while that's running, we'll uh, see what else. We'll just do the basic ACID-3 test, see if they tried to screw anything up with displays. And we'll do the HTML5 and see what it did. Kind of slowed down right there at the 69. Not a good sign, however, it still passed. And... 394 doesn't seem to score any better than the old crappy Firefox that we've all come to know and love because uh, people yet to understand that yes there is an inferior browser and Firefox happens to be that browser we'll do the browser scope browser scope dot org I can see what if they tried to can change anything I don't always know they probably didn't but uh, security test I don't need to share my results. Run the security test and tell me what it says. One, two, three, four. Failed again, and this is still the same old browser. I'm having a hard time for. I have a hard time understanding Komodo because their company offers really nice products. I mean, as far as testing and you, as far as their testing goes, they're not the best. However, their products are super cheap as well. Five hundred virus, five hundred dollar virus free guarantee. It can remove it, and if that doesn't work, then if you ever have to reset, they'll pay you $500. Let's just see. Auto Internet Security Complete. What makes this so much different? Geek Buddy. You do not want Geek Buddy. You never use this. So, Internet Security Complete. We'll look at that. What makes their products good, and why do they keep trying to advertise it? Antivirus cleans malware. I hope that's what it does. The uh, firewall protection, the defense plus, really nice actually. Uh, auto sandbox technology, that's good. Trust connection of Wi-Fi data encryption, really nice. Online backup, it's a, I believe it's 10 gigabytes and live expert re virus removal. I don't know why they're advertising this product within their own product. It makes no sense to me. However, Komodo, Komodo does what Komodo does, and it took that thing a long time just to scan my site. I already knew what is this, co.li, which means it was a redirect from my own site. It has to do, if I do .com .li, or maybe it's il. Look at that. 
Komodo can't find it because them using their servers to look for things, not like the internet provider. So if I do dot il, no dot l, l i. What are they talking about? I'm not even getting a redirect. It probably has to do with their location. I get no sort of redirect. Hey, look at that, Komodo. Their ads are now showing up on my site. Coincidence? I don't think so. This thing's slow. Ultimate protection from PC. Manage engine, and I'm guessing that's strange. Happened I'm using a Komodo product that one of the ads turned into a Komodo based product. I'm not going to say anything, but anything inter that's saying that there's anything bad with that just seems a little odd and a little bit coincidental, if you would. So as far as I could tell, this browser is no different, and all that it has up on the, all it has is the Komodo Web Inspector built in, and now Komodo's Web Inspector's Komodo Web Inspecting its own site. So, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, if I was to give you an internet browser, I don't think I could actually recommend any of the Komodo browsers with a heavy heart. The products themselves don't seem to be any different because they're relying on the same technology used in other browsers and it's the exact same UI. Yet I can't seem to control the settings at all and all that it has is the built-in Komodo Web Inspector. I mean I guess you could argue it's fine if you're doing like online banking but then again it's just better to get like a browser running in a sandbox or an anti-keylogger program that rather than installing a whole separate browser of which you would still need like an anti-key logging program. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe to the video. And uh, please tell me about your, like if you've ever used the Ice Dragon or any of the Komodo products because I want to know why it is you use them over other products. Not saying that they're bad or anything, I just don't feel that uh, Komodo ha is doing as well as it should. Like here, I can go to the options. Let's see what I can configure here. Privacy, security, um, block sites, extensions seem very limited. Content, blah. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, that's about all I have to say. So thank you very much, and goodbye. I said thank you very much like six times. I need help.